The country's rice granary took the full fury of Hurricane Carding's howling winds and torrential rains that tore and laid waste on property and crops and left parts of the province in the dark. Still, it could have been worse given an incredible zero casualty mark in nearly all the cities and towns hit hard by the typhoon. As we hear more from Armela Les Moras. <laughs> It was around 9 o'clock last night when then Super Typhoon Cardin started to ravage various parts of Nueva Ecija. Here in General Tino, where signal number 5 was raised yesterday, strong winds and rains were felt by the residents. That's why the next day, enormous damages were in sight from houses to electric posts and up to farms and rice fields which have always been the bread and butter of many residents in the province. Like Susana who couldn't help but get sad due to the onslaught brought by the calamity. Diyos ko, siyempre, ala naman kami inaasahan ko di aming mga pananim na gulay sa tumana, kamukha ng mga kalamansik mo, mga gulay yan. Sobrang nervyos ang inabot namin magdamag, hindi kami halos nakatulog. For their part, authorities immediately commenced their rescue and clearing operations with a promise that they will continue helping the affected residents to the best of their ability. Katuwang ang ating municipal, ang munisipyo, kahapon kasi nag-meeting kami, ah, uh, Magtutuwang daw upang magbigyan ng mga grocery items at tulong pinansyal ang ating mga kababarangay. Pwede po kami magbigay ng assistance, through assistance na tulungan namin sila na mag-construct ng kanilang mga bahay kung sakali, o maglinis, ganun sa mga effort na pwede namin gawin. Kung kailangan po ng mga heavy equipment, Meron din naman po kami niyan ng mga pwedeng mahiram o magamit. Apart from this, the Sangguniang Panalawigan of Nueva Ecija also approved today the resolution declaring a state of calamity in the province. With this uh, recent typhoon, na nakita naman po natin dun, uh, based on the report ng ating mga uh, provincial chief uh, with regards sa palay, 3.3 uh, billion ang, uh, ang uh, losses. With regards to corn, almost 500 million. So, na, na, with the total of the whole, of whole value crops, alam naman po natin ang ating lalawigan ay uh, the rice granary and uh, other vegetable, umaabot ng 3.8 billion ang losses natin, itong uh, typhoon carding lang. So, it calls for us na kailangan umaksyon ng agaran. On top of this, class suspension in all levels in the province has been extended until tomorrow, September 27. Melales Moras for the nation.